what's going on, guys. So, much like you, I got interested in sim racing, and I sent it on an entire rig. I know you're about to, and that's why you're watching this video. So let me tell you, the FGT Live made by Next Level Racing is a fantastic sim racing and just general purpose gaming chair. It looks incredible, it feels incredible, it's rigid as all hell, it has a door, what? It's like having a race car in your living room, but it's so cool. Uh, paired together with a Logitech G29 wheel and shifters, it has absolutely transformed my gaming experience into what I would call more of a simulation and way less of a game, especially thanks to the PlayStation 5 with Gran Turismo 7. So I just kind of want to show you what it's like to use this thing and to play the game. <laughs> it's wild. It's incredible. So here we go. The G29 has all of the control surfaces that you would expect from a PlayStation controller. It's relatively intuitive to use, even if you're in VR, which is pretty cool. I love that. I love that next generation headsets have that feature set them up. Alright, let's get into this thing. Thanks to the door, you can really just kind of plop right on in. This is really comfortable. Close the door. Open the latch. Last but not least, the uh, PlayStation Pulse headphones are a fantastic Fantastic choice, especially if you use PSVR 2. It helps the headset stay more stable, in my opinion, as does a basic sweatband. Nice, alright, so we're just going to send it with a Super Formula car on a arcade race, I guess. Do something simple. This wheel has force feedback. I do believe it's a gear based system. Nothing crazy like a direct drive, but it certainly gets the job done as far as immersion and control is concerned. Uh, we are going to go to Suzuka Circuit instead. Interesting little recalibration here, I don't know what that is. Oh, probably because I am sitting down when I was standing up earlier. Okay, well, I feel like we should be... so intense, man. The fact that you can just do this in your living room is actually insane. The lights
lights up here on the wheel light up as well and correspond with the in-game RPM. Why does F1 2023 not have PSVR support? It's a huge missed opportunity. So many people are just going to continue playing Gran Turismo 7. Top 4 here coming around the final corner. Traction there, of course, you guys do now. Let's go, baby. Oof, contact there, they would have had some pretty catastrophic damage, I feel. Look at this crazy thing, what the hell are you? Coming around the inside, massive overtake. Oh, no more spinning out of control. Can we recover this? Oh! <laughs> it's so scary getting hit by other cars in virtual reality. Light hands, light hands, light hands. Gotta control light hands. Yes, sir. remotely a racing fan that has access to a PS5, you need to do this. You need to do this. It's the coolest thing. It's just the coolest thing. Oh. I hate this corner so much. Whoa! Battle shifters are so quick and responsive. We're not going to be able to ever see this guy. Not yet. Now we can. We can get him going through here. Yes, sir. Adios, Machacho. Let's go. Right at the last second. If you're on the fence about virtual reality, just send it. It's so great. Thanks for hanging out.